Now to Ukraine, where Russia is using its devastating firepower to try to breach Ukrainian defenses. Russian bombs and shells are hitting the city of Kharkiv, which is under Ukraine's control, while fierce ground battles rage in the eastern part of the country. President Zelensky visited Kharkiv over the weekend. Imtiaz Tayeb has the latest on the fighting in Ukraine. Well, Ukraine's prime minister says 10 times more civilians have been killed than military personnel since the start of the invasion. And with Russian forces advancing in the eastern Donbass, the fear is that number will only rise. Street by street, village by village, Russian forces are seizing more and more territory as they try to conquer the eastern Donbass region. Ukrainian troops are outnumbered 7 to 1 here as Moscow's siege tactics overwhelm several areas. But there's no greater reminder of the horrors this war has already inflicted than in Mariupol. New video appears to show mass graves as far as the eye can see. A pain unbearable for the few who remain there. But in a show of strength and determination, Vladimir Zelensky was on the ground in Kharkiv, Ukraine's second largest city, recently wrestled back from Russia. The president hasn't been seen outside the Kyiv region since Russia's invasion began over three months ago and was greeted with near total devastation. But as Russia wages its war of attrition, Ukraine has a secret weapon, its people. These women are stitching together body armor vests for the front line. Sergei Milyutin is deputy mayor of Kriviri. Everyone here has loved ones in the military, he says, and so we're careful to make things as high quality as possible. So in a way, this is a labor of love for the people who make these materials. Absolutely. 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 How most Ukrainians feel about Vladimir Putin couldn't be clearer. This gravestone stands outside another volunteer center where we meet Oleg Zaboyak, who takes us around the facility and shows us camouflage made for sniper using household plastics, as Zaboyak demonstrates. Well, you make a very convincing sniper. Hello. Hello. But it's here some of the most useful work is being done. These women weave together camouflage netting to be used in the battlefield says volunteer really Valentina Kravda. Really, you're all just doing anything you can to help. Absolutely. Absolutely, she says. I've been working here for three months without a single day off because we need to do this. Now, despite suffering heavy losses in the eastern Donbass, Ukrainian forces are on the counterattack in the south of the country, claiming to have pushed back Russian forces out of three villages in the Kherson region. For CBS Mornings, I'm Impias Taib in southeastern Ukraine.